I'm trying to think uh, uh, where to go from here. Maybe that's it. Uh, uh, the, the, the Bob Latticer, he had a good line when he retired. You know, this also, like, what was it? Like, he had 399 wins. And he said, people will think, like, I died mid-season or something. Why exactly? Or, yeah, why? Yeah, that, that explains. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, three, it's just a number. And right. uh and I'll sort of segue to that. Now, uh, Bob, he's still around the program, but he, he retired in just now in Baugh, and, and you're still going. I mean, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, is, what, what's the differences? Or are there differences? Or um, granted, the team is still successful. Between Bob and Justin? Yeah. Um, well, yeah, there's obviously differences. Um, but they're both stickler. With, I think, with, you know, personality-wise, Justin's a little bit more uh, outgoing. I would say, um, you know, Bob can be kind of, he's kind of a serious guy. You know, right. he's not that serious around us all the time, but his basic demeanor is serious. Justin, you know, is a little more happy-go-lucky uh, type of guy. Um, but in the sense of how practice ran, you know, a few tweaks here and there, but they're both meticulous about the details, and that's why Justin's going to be a good coach. That's why Bob was a great coach. And... They both feel they can get more out of the kids than what the kids feel they can get. And so he's been kind of raised on that aspect, you know, with playing here and coaching here for so many years. So, um, you know, there's the, in a sense of their personality is a little different, but in a sense of how things ran, I don't think things went that were different at all, really. No. And then what's, I mean, it's a question for him, but Gladys being there on game night, uh, Justin's in charge. Is, was that strange or, uh, or? I don't know. You know, it's different. It was different. But Bob did a good job of stepping back and, you know, really didn't interject and let Justin do his thing. So I give him a lot of credit for that. And he's letting him, you know, he's there as a mentor and to help him. But he's letting him do his thing. And he's not, he did a really good job this year of just letting him coach. And he did, Bob did a great job helping us with the defensive line, the running right. back. So. That's just another great coach we have to our staff. So, yeah, you're the best uh, defensive line coach probably in the high school. Yeah. Well, him and Steve Jacoby did a great job together. You know, our defensive line was our strength this year. Right. So, no, an offensive line too. No, but that must have been pressure on, on Justin. You guys, without, I mean, Lasser was around, but uh, you know, to, to keep what, what you know, I don't know what the question is, but if um, to keep you know, it going. Well, I, I think you know you were trying to hit a you know for Justin was. I think he felt he, because he did so much as an assistant coach, you know, it would just be a natural progression, but you're right. You know, there's, there's a, I mean, I, <laughs> he definitely wore on him more, you know, as a head coach. And if, you know, when it really, the buck really does stop yeah. with you, it's a different mentality. Right, right. And I think, you know, and he learned, I mean, I think he thought like, you know, because we, we'd collaborated so much as coaches and did so much work together that I, didn't, I don't think he thought it was going to be any different that much. Right. But when it is, you're the guy, and everyone wants to talk to you, and you ultimately have to make all decisions on discipline and all those types of things, right. it, it is stressful. Yeah, sure. And, and it was, I think he got an eyeful of, you know, a little bit, and think if I, he already respected Bob a ton. I think right. he respects me even yeah. more now. Maybe he wants him to come back. I don't know, but I'm mean, joking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah, you know, no one's coming back. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I won't let him come back. Yeah. You know, he's, I had the heart issue in 2004, right. so we're not going back that direction. Yeah, exactly. That, that's what, yeah, uh, I didn't go to the game this year, but that, that's it. You, you would be much more, yeah, that's the thing. You're much more relaxed when it's, it's not your team. Right. right. He, he was much more relaxed. He looked great this year. Right. And his health is our number one priority. Right, right, right. I'm trying to think even where to end. Yeah. Um, yeah, because yeah, that, that's what I just how long Bob because Justin's young. Justin's probably what about 32, 35, or how old is he? Uh, younger I than think us. He just turned thirty-four. Thirty-four. I'm not okay, fair. I no, yeah, that. yeah. Because but when, when Bob became the Bob was like what twenty-four, twenty-five. His his first season. Oh, he's twenty. Yeah, twenty-three or twenty-four. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I mean, that's that's why you retire when you're fifty because you've been. Uh, Coaching since you're 23. Almost 60. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who, who's counting? I mean, <laughs> I apologize. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think. Maybe just wrap up here. Is there anything you, you'd like to add that that wasn't covered? Or uh, I've I've taken up a lot of your time. But granted, we I've been trying since July to set this up, and it's, it's January, so I thought I'd maximize the time. I know a lot, but you know more. I mean, as I said, we started. I mean, I remember stuff, but you lived it. I mean, uh, I can go back 25 years. You go back 30 years. 
I don't know what the yeah, question is. You know, you know, you know, it's just uh, there is a long history and uh, to the, the program, and been a lot of players, a lot of great names. It's hard, you know, you got to name some guys off the top of your head, but there's so many great players. You know, they've they've all put their time in. I always tell them, you know, they're all Spartans, and uh, it's been a great experience. It's you know, as a coach, I, you'd have to call it. You know, you see you see the term all the time. This is my dream job, you know, when guys go to different schools and all that and because they may have grown up, but this really was a dream job. And, you know, it was, um, it's, it's been a great place to work. It still is a great yeah. place. Not like I'm yeah. gone yet, but exactly. still a great place to work. And um, as long as, like we always say, as long as the kids are still responsive, we'll still we'll be coaching. When the day comes when we don't think we're being effective, then right. that's when it's time to step down and we haven't, uh, come to that time yet, so right. we're still hanging in there. Yeah, exactly, no, I, and, and basically this is the only job you've ever had, pretty much, or no, or? <laughs> well, I worked at a fruit stand when I was a teenager. Right, okay, yeah. <laughs> and so I was a paper boy, but yeah, yeah. this is my first uh, major job, right, absolutely. Right. Did you yeah. put those when you applied, or was that on your resume? <laughs> I mean, I what was on my it. resume was, yeah, no, uh, yeah, I taught right. the right subjects. I was, yeah. I, had, I was a major of the right subjects. Okay, no. well, this, I well, they took a big chance on me. I mean, I wasn't, I hadn't taught a day, and for, I was, you know, a year out of removed from college. So uh, I got to know some people when I was my, from that one time I was with the brothers a little bit. But um, I don't know, they took a chance on me, and I've always been, you know, always grateful that De La Salle did that. Right, and, and what, I mean, think about it. I mean, Start. I mean, now it's been 30, but you had no idea you'd be here 30 years. Or no, I had no, I, no, you don't have a lot of ideas about a lot of things when you're that age. No, right. But I, I don't know how I taught five classes and taught and, you know, I and mean, then coached and did all, yeah. I mean, I'm still wondering how I was the athletic director, taught and coached at the same time. Now I don't have the energy to do any of that stuff, but. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. it was been a it's been a great experience. So, so yeah, you're you're not going to get that job back from Leo. I mean, you're the you're athletic director. Right. <laughs> I keep telling people, I'm not as I get older, I'm not trying to work longer and harder. I'm trying to work less. Okay, okay. yeah. Yeah, no, I think we just wrap up. I know all I can do is just thank you for for your time. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed this, and uh, I will wish you the, the, the best going forward. And uh, yeah, yeah, just thanks, Terry. Just a wonderful day. No problem. No problem. All righty. Thank you.